last episode we made grilled cheese, classic childhood staple, and with it we served tomato soup. We served it as a dip in that video, but today we're gonna show you how to make proper tomato soup. Whether you wanna make a dip to accompany a grilled cheese or just have a bowl of tomato soup that's on a crappy can. This recipe, we're roasting Roma tomatoes, we're adding roasted fennel, we're roasting garlic, we have fresh thyme, we have carrot, celery, fresh basil, I have a lot of V8, which is gonna add more flavor, vegetable stock, kitchen basics, a lot of paprika, maybe half this bottle at least, and that again is gonna give it more flavor that we're looking for to kind of transform it. And then some honey to give it a little sweetness. The reason tomato soup goes so well with grilled cheese is because grilled cheese is essentially just melted cheese and bread, and that can be very fatty and rich. And tomatoes have that acid that gives it that freshness that helps to balance out all that fattiness and richness. So there's a reason why the combination is classic. So let's just get into it. We're gonna cut the Roma tomatoes in half, slice up this fennel. And by the way, if you're like me, you don't like the taste of fennel, the taste of licorice but when you roast it and when you, you know, kind of uh, pickle it, put acid on it, it's another ingredient that sort of transforms. So roasting it makes it very sweet and brings out a different flavor than um, that anise licorice flavor. So we're gonna throw that in. Just gonna add everything to the pot, hit it up in a blender at the end and serve it up. It's not very difficult. This is the recipe from the food truck. So let's just get into it. Got a big sheet tray. I have about two to three pounds of Roma tomatoes. Got them at the farmer's market. It's the last tomato hurrah. 10 to 11 Roma tomatoes. Just cut them in half. These are good because they have less water and seeds than regular tomatoes, which we want. We're gonna use the garlic the same way we did when we roasted carrots. Just gonna get them out of the kind of big clove and then just throw them into the pan. Just sort of get like that loose flimsy paper off first. Now these look cool. I might just throw these on top of the, the soup at the end. So I just want to pull some of these guys off. I'm gonna save those. I'm just gonna cut it in half. Gotta get this core out of here. So I'm just gonna cut down through the core. The core comes right out. It's so gross, raw, but trust me, I wouldn't be putting it in there if I thought it was gonna be bad. Very similar to how we did carrots, right? I have garlic, I've got my tomatoes, I have fennel. I'm not gonna add the thyme right now. You know what, I could add a few thymes first. I wanna get some olive oil on, plenty. Make sure you got a good amount on there. Salt. All right, I've got the oven at 450. Gonna throw these in, roast them, get them nice and browned, get them soft, get the fennel roasted. And while that's in the oven, we're gonna roughly chop up the rest of our vegetables, get them into a pan, get that going. And then we're gonna start to bring them all together and finish up the soup. So I have onion, carrot, and celery, also known as mirepoix, which is sort of the basis for almost any recipe, especially soups and braises and stuff like that. So this soup's gonna be blended, so I don't really need to worry about how these are cut. Gotta just wash a few things, chop through these real quick, and then get everything on the stove. I got my mirepoix chopped up here, ready to go in the pot. We got a box of vegetable stock, a bottle of this. But we're not gonna use all of this. Probably gonna do the 50-50 blend of the two and then add more depending on how it's looking. I don't want it to be too thin, I don't want it to be too thick. I just want this nice, perfect consistency that I'm going for. And depending on how much water's in the tomatoes, in the onions, it's all going to affect how much liquid we wanna add. So we're gonna use like roughly four cups of liquid to start and then adjust from that point on. And I'm gonna probably use two cups of the V8 and two cups of vegetable stock. And then a few tablespoons of honey at the end just to kind of balance out all the acid. I got my thyme and then fresh bay leaf, which I just wanna kind of crumple up, get those juices going. So let's head over to the stove.
This isn't necessary. And as is, the soup is right now vegan. So, but I wanna add a little color for my photo, so I'm gonna add a little bit of cream up top. just like I remembered it. It looked crazy to add all that paprika, but it gives it this spiciness. I could even have added more, I think. A half a bottle to a full bottle of paprika. It just does something. Definitely more than a tomato sauce. Lots of vegetables, lots of flavor. Easy thing to make, your kids will like it. And obviously it goes great with grilled cheese. It's a, a vegan recipe without the cream on top. That's totally optional and more of an aesthetic look. Uh, it does kind of cool it down a little bit. Other than that, it's another delicious soup you got. Thanks for watching everybody. This was an introduction to kind of like the basic product that we sold. One of the most popular things, this combination of our grilled cheese and this tomato soup. So I'm happy to share it with you guys. Make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, go down into the description box. There's a whole bunch of new links there. I want you to check out if that's something that you think you might be into. Have a good weekend. We'll see you next week and uh, go feed yourself.